G'day shooters, this is just too much fun. The roots of this little rifle go back to the late 1880s when prolific firearm inventor John Moses Browning designed the first of them. That rifle was the Winchester 1890 and over the next half century more than 900,000 of them were made. It also spawned other pump action Winchesters, not to mention all the other brands that followed with similar designs. Now, 130 years later, literally millions of beautiful little pump action 22s like this have been made. They're often called gallery guns because they are commonly used in shooting galleries. And it might be hard to believe in this day and age, but there was a time when you could go to a fair, a circus or an amusement park, pay a few cents and shoot live ammo at targets in a booth. There should be more of it, I reckon. Shooting galleries still exist in some parts of the world, but sadly not here down under. Pump action rifles were quick and fun, so they suited the galleries well. Being fun, people wanted to pay to shoot. Being quick, people emptied the magazines rapidly and so the galleries turnover matched the pace. Everyone was a winner. In the galleries, they generally didn't shoot proper bullets. There was special gallery ammunition made, generally in 22 short, that was non-spatter, so it just disintegrated on impact. So it was all harmless fun, but it's still fun. Eventually, BB guns replaced the 22s in galleries, and then Paranoia replaced the BBs, but that's another story. The gallery guns are, of course, still around, and there's nothing to say you can't still enjoy them. You've got to set up your own gallery, but that's easy. You can still buy brand new Rossi Pump Action 22s. They actually call it the Rossi Gallery, and it sells for around $800, give or take. Browning called theirs the Trombone, which is a great name, and you can pick up old trombones as well as old Winchesters for as little as a few hundred bucks if they're only in fair condition, but you'll pay six to eight hundred dollars for a good one and often more for a really nice one. Older Rossies like this one also fetch similar money but without that higher end because they don't have the collectible cachet that the Winchesters and the Brownings do. Researching this story, I also came across a rare Colt Lightning made in 1902 that was for sale for over two grand. Although no one had taken the bait on it after three months and was still for sale last time I looked, so maybe that was a little bit much. Anyway, the point is, these 22 pumps are still sought after rifles. They're also sometimes completely knackered. Pump action parts do wear out. Sloppy actions, worn feed mechanisms, loose magazines, they're just some of the problems that you can encounter. So buying one can be a risk. This one, which was bought over the counter at a gun shop, needed a bit of rectification work, which the gun shop did handle. After that, it still fails to feed the last rounds into the chamber at times, not always. It's not perfect, it's just old and well used. If you do get one, keep plenty of oil up to it and give it a good clean every now and then. By the way, this is a Rossi Model 62. It doesn't function perfectly, and truth be told, it's actually a little bit bent, but it still shoots like an absolute demon, and it's endlessly entertaining. It's a great hunting rifle too. It's killed lots of rabbits. Like a lot of these old rifles, it's chained for 22 short, 22 long, and 22 long rifle. So you've got plenty of choice in ammunition to use. It'll hold 15 rounds of 22 LR, and even more of the others. The worst thing about it is that it belongs to one of my neighbours and I'm going to have to give it back. Thanks, Dan. Everyone should have a 22. I wouldn't say everyone should have a gallery gun, but mate, considering how cheap and fun these things are, maybe every second person ought to have one.